，乱世情，浮沉中生死无际，命运百般如戏。梦境里，谁人影？斜阳落，空手回忆，相思何处忘记？My lady, your brew is ready. I know what you want to say. But this time, I have to go. But what if the baby gets hurt? Well, I have to. His Majesty will leave for months. I promised. I'd be wherever he goes. Besides, you and Junling will protect me. But my lady, I... Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Were you planning to conceal it? And continue following me to the battlefield? Didn't you have plans of telling me? The baby could have gotten hurt. Of course I will tell you. Li Hua, listen to me. Stay in the palace. I will return soon. No! Don't leave me in the palace. We had a deal. I'll be where you'll be. And what about the baby? What about the other children? Listen, considering your situation, I will get distracted if you come with me. If you and the baby get hurt, everything that I achieve will be meaningless. You're giving me lame excuses again. But... I understand. I'm not Yinji anymore. <laughs> but we have to make a deal. Come back soon. I will. <laughs> <laughs> so let us both then enjoy our meal. Here. <sighs> Comb the hair once. And you will have no trouble. Comb the hair a second time, and may you have no... Your Majesty? Li Hua, you can call me Wanshu, when you and I are alone, all right? That's inappropriate. Uh, your Majesty? Hmm? What will you call me? I just told you. Weren't you my love? It feels like a dream. I still remember years ago, I pulled off gray hairs for my mother when I was in Shinye. Time flies. Now I have gray hair. Wenshu. You're the mighty emperor now, with a sovereign power. But you still love me as much as... 
before. <sighs> I feel very sorry that I can't always accompany you and fight together. According to traditional healers, Laughter hurts the appearance, weeping hurts the lungs, tension hurts the spleen, and anger hurts the liver. How dare you, Li Hua? You weep and laugh frequently while carrying my baby. Do you really want to give me an unattractive and unhealthy baby? <laughs> the joke isn't funny at all. Stop teasing me. <laughs> Do you think I have nothing to do? I'm not that emotional. Li Hua, I am sorry for leaving you alone in the palace during this time, okay? Remember, keep it a secret from the Empress in the meantime. I'll ask Liu Sheng to stay with you. Wen Shu, let him accompany you. I will be worried if he's not with you. I know you're worried leaving me behind. But remember, I have Hu Po here. Don't underestimate her. She's a good fighter. I'm even no match for her. You're frowning again. Huh? <laughs> Wait for me. Mother, I told you, didn't I? His Majesty would care about my feelings. You and brother are just overcautious. His Majesty didn't bring Li Hua along with him. Though you are an empress, you're so imprudent. Mother, what do you mean? His Majesty didn't do that out of your feelings. A few days ago, I spied on them. Yin Li Hua is pregnant again. His Majesty worries about her baby, so... Who said she's pregnant? Don't worry too much about it. Once His Majesty leaves, Yin Li Hua and her baby would be vulnerable and unprotected from us. Since she keeps it as a secret, then we can play along. We are ignorant, so we won't be blamed. I know what you mean. His Majesty leaves. As the Empress, I should be responsible in taking care of her. My lady, your tonic is ready. Drink it while it's warm. I'm doing better, Hupo. I don't need to drink this bitter tonic anymore. There are spice everywhere. Lord Yin She took great pains to deliver this tonic. If you won't have it, he would feel disappointed and insulted. All right, Hupo. I'll have it then. Greetings, Greetings, Your Highness. Yin Li Hua. Don't you feel well today? It's nothing. It must be the hot weather. It makes me feel uncomfortable and lose my appetite. So I asked Hu Po to make me a refreshing drink. What a coincidence. I made this decoction today. It's from fresh lotus root and cucumber from the western regions. It can promote the blood circulation, and it will also effectively improve your appetite.
If you find it to be very effective, I'll order Yingno to bring you some every day. We need to share good things with each other. All right. I'll leave you alone. Have a good rest. My lady, are you all right? How are you feeling? My lady. Your Highness, I can't believe she drank the decoction. I wonder if it works. It doesn't matter. She'll surely suffer the effects of the decoction. My lady, my lady, you're awake. My baby, how is my baby? The baby is fine. The doctor examined you. Though your condition's not well, the fetus was not affected. But the doctor advised you to drink more warm ginger tea for your health. I didn't lose my baby. We must be very cautious until His Majesty comes back. Please, my lady, get some rest. Brother, brother, brother! <laughs> brother, look! We found this interesting gadget. Where did you find this? I went to the West Palace for Liu Yang, and then we found this. Actually, I have no idea what it is as well. It just appeared in my room this morning. <sighs> hey. Where did you find this gadget? Mother, mother! 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 Mother, do you know what it is? Well, your father did mention a lot about this gadget to me before. It was made by Lady Yin when she used to live in Shinye. So exquisite and delicate, I never thought that I would see it. Your Highness, does it really belong to my mother? Mm. Your father also told me that Lady Yin could fly with it to even higher places. Wow! Really? You can ask Lady Yin to fly with it if you don't believe me. All right, I'll ask my mother to show us how to. Come on! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Let's go! Come with me, Ying Lu. I can't wait to see Lady Yin's flying performance. Mother! <laughs> mother! Mother! <laughs> Your Highness. Highness! Young, what brings you here? Mother, I heard that you can fly with this. Is that true? Where did you get this? I found it inside my room this morning when I woke up. Your Highness, could you please show us right now how to fly with this gadget? Your Highness, please show us how to fly with it. I've never seen such a wonderful and delicate gadget like this. If you think I'm doing it the wrong way, Your Highness can teach me how to use it so I can fly with it properly. That's right. Mother! Mother! Please, do us the honor. His Majesty always tells me, you are as excellent as a man. I think that it would be best if you could tutor Sheng personally how to play with this kite. His Majesty said, you could fly with it very impressively, like a fairy would. I'm very envious. I didn't expect that I'd even have a chance to witness such a great talent. It's just a normal stunt. It's really nothing special at all. So what are you saying? Are you implying His Majesty was like a hick? He seemed quite astonished and even made a fuss about it. Your Highness, please remember, as an Imperial concubine, it's inappropriate for her to do that. How can we even explain it to His Majesty if she gets hurt? Please allow me to do the flying. I can do it the same way she does. Do you dare to advise me without my permission? Who are you? 
How dare you? To interrupt our conversation, teach her some matters. Wait, your highness. Hupo didn't mean to offend you. Please forgive her. My lady, I was just... Silence! Don't argue with me. Go and get ready. But... All right. Oh, Liu Yang. Your mother indeed is as excellent as a man. Children, I've prepared some fruits in the backyard. Let's go and wait for them there. Yes, yes mother! Come go. on! Let's Come on! Go. <laughs> Yum. Come, take it. Come, it's good. Oh, is that Lady yes, Yin? Yes, it's her. Oh, oh, oh what is she, what is she doing? doing up there? It's Lady Yin there. over there. Yum. Yes. Yum, come. Young, don't underestimate your mother. Lady Yin, be careful! It's so high up, you make me nervous. All of you, go and make sure you keep Lady Yin safe. If something goes wrong, all of you will pay for it. Yes! Are you causing a commotion here? Tell me. Your Majesty, it was the children who found this kite this morning. They've heard that I flied with it once, so they wanted to see me fly with it. Uh, right, right, right. That's exactly what happened. So I'm just here to join in the fun with the children. I hope that's fine. From this day forward, I will ask you not to let her do anything risky. Before I went out to battle, we consulted with the doctor, and we were told that she was pregnant. And it's quite complicated, so I didn't bring her with me. Luckily, I got back in time. If not, who will take the responsibility if my baby should get hurt? Congratulations, Congratulations. Congratulations, Your Majesty. I apologize. I didn't know you were pregnant. I shouldn't have allowed the children to mess around. I'll take the punishment. Empress, I was fighting for our country. As the Empress, you should serve as a role model to everyone here in the palace. You should teach the children how to behave, but instead you cause trouble. Fine, then. I won't put the blame entirely on you, since you didn't know she's pregnant. You may rise. Empress, take the children and go. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will take my leave now. Lihua, I'm sorry about that. You're home early? After I pacified Ying Xuan, Yin Xin came to me. We weren't done talking yet, but I realized that you were in the palace all alone. 
I missed you so much, so I rushed back home. I'm glad I came in time. I can't imagine what might have happened. Remember? I've told you, I want to go wherever you go. This is the consequence of you leaving me here. Lihua, is our baby... The baby's fine. I can act according to the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Tell me, how's our baby been behaving while I was not around, hmm? Just like the father, the baby is so sweet. <laughs> Listen, I am not going to leave you until the baby is born. Wait, what about the battle in Long Yu? Everything's under control now, thanks to the baby's father. Now relax and enjoy your pregnancy. It was such a good opportunity, but it got wasted. Why is she so lucky? His Majesty came back just in time. Destiny cannot be predicted. But she cannot be lucky so all the time. So then what now? Mother, we missed this opportunity, and now... I know Yin Liwa is very cunning. However, this is not yet the end of the line. <laughs> My lady... His Majesty is really great at strategies. He commanded the army from a distance in Luyang, and then he ordered Wuhan, Laishi, and Feng Yi to fight against the enemies. In Longyu from three directions, now some subordinates of Wei Shao and Tourang have submitted to our army. Longxi is now under our control. That's great. Taking down Longxi is one of our primary goals. <sighs> Look at the little prince. He'll sleep well because he heard good news. He's happy for his father. Your father named you Hong Fu, which means supremely fortunate. You have to bless our army of victory. <laughs> Sister. What is this? His Majesty feels the bandits in Yingchuan are strange. The incident didn't happen on a whim. They appeared to be prepared. So His Majesty appointed me to investigate. These weapons are left by those bandits. What have you found out? These are the same weapons used by the bandits to attack General Feng Yi on the same day. They vanished after that. Obviously, they are well-trained, so we shouldn't take this lightly. These are no ordinary bandits. They did it. The Kuo family did it. After the bandits showed up, they accused me and slandered me. Hebei generals can take this opportunity to gain merit. The Guo family is trying to consolidate their power. They're trying to provoke a civil strife. My lady, should we report this to His Majesty? We can't. We need more solid evidence. More importantly, we can't distract His Majesty and the rest of his army. His Majesty is coming! Your Majesty. Glory to you, Your Majesty. Please leave us. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> Your Majesty, I know you're mad, but you have to be calm for the bigger picture, since we have no solid evidence. Let us be calm. I've been generous to the Guo family. I can't believe they would be so greedy to do such terrible things. I'll go talk to the Empress. Greetings to your majesty. You may rise. Thank you, your majesty. Your Majesty has been busy on national affairs. It's a good news that we conquered Longxi and suppressed the bandits. The country is at peace now. Your Majesty loves me playing music. Since you're here, 
Why not listen to the music and make yourself relax? No need. I came here to discuss the Crown Prince's master and his future. My greetings, greetings to, to you, you father. father. Please stand up. Thank, Thank you, father. father. Tell me, have you been studying hard? Yes, father. I've been studying with fourth younger brother, and we have learned a lot. Learning from others is very good for you. Ask as many questions as you can. Even though he's younger, as long as he knows better, you will learn from him. Understand? Yes, father. I shall find a qualified master for you. You should focus on your studies. It will make you wiser. Yes, father. May I ask who will be their master? General Deng Yu. General Tung? Your majesty, he's not good enough. How can you be so sure? Although he is one of the three dignitaries, he lost the West Conquest battle. He might be an armchair strategist, and he has been incompetent the past years. I don't think he'd be suitable and adequate. <laughs> he and I used to be classmates. We studied together in the Imperial College. Zhonghua and I were equally matched. If Zhonghua is not good enough, do you mean that I am mediocre too? <sighs> of course not. That's not what I meant. It's just that my brother Kung knows someone he wants to recommend. Last time, I told you what it takes to become a good emperor, and how to choose a master for the future emperor. I told you that you had to keep that in mind. Perhaps you've forgotten. Fortunately, your family has many talents. Otherwise, I would not have returned here so soon. I assure you of that. But no matter how brilliant they are, they can't teach Chung'e a sense of propriety or tell him when to stop. In my opinion, General Deng's a perfect choice to serve as Chang'er's master. Don't you agree? Well then, in that case, I'll get Sheng ready to meet his master. And so, this is settled so far. Luckily, His Majesty didn't blame you. But how could he make that witch's old flame be Sheng's master? You have to accept His Majesty's decision as its final. Is there anything we can do? Simply doing nothing is the best thing to do for now. Yao Chang, Yao Yang, from now on, Deng Yu will serve as your master. Sage rulers must always respect their masters, so you two must honor him and study hard. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask him. Do you understand? Yes, father. Master, our sincere respect to you. Please stand up. Come on. Up. Your majesty, I swear to you I will not let you down. And I'm going to teach the prince with all of my heart. Do either of you know the price of rice? This is important. You should know this. Mm. Food is essential for people. Your father has restored the Han Dynasty and become its sovereign and never forgets what's essential. Please tell us more about it, Master. Eat the same food and have the same concern with the rest of your kingdom's people. You simply can't reign without regard for the people's feelings. Because no matter how knowledgeable you are, you would have no value if everything that you do is unrealistic and you cannot bring happiness to the people. We know the connections among the family, the nation, and the people. And we know that the people are more important. Those philosophies are easy to say, but hard to carry out. And I hope you will care for the people when you grow up, because this country not only belongs to the sovereign, 
but to the people as well. They belong to everyone. I miss the good old days so much. It's nice to be reminded. My Our sincere, sincere greetings, greetings to your, to your highness. highness. I brought you something special, children. Have a taste. But mother, what is this? It's clear soup. This is the worst food I've ever tasted in my entire life. There was a famine when your father was in Hebei. It was a freezing winter. The clear soup saved him, and he became the emperor. So, do you want to be like him? I didn't know father almost lost his life to be what he is today. How did you know about that, mother? Did he tell you about this? Because Lady Yin fought right alongside your father to fight for all in this country. She's a hero as well. Mother is so impressive. Someday I would like to go to battle with father. I will fight evil. Good boy. Your Highness, please tell us more stories. When I was in Hebei with your father, we were both... His Majesty is so cruel. He did this on purpose. I know that he wants to keep Crown Prince away from us and alienate me from my own son. No need to worry. You are Chang's biological mother. No one will take him away from you. But Chang is still young. His Majesty is deliberately getting them closer. Perhaps to pave her way to replace me. In the ninth year of Jianwu era, a food shortage was experienced in Longxi, which made the army lose morale. Wei Xiao died of illness and hunger at to confront Gong Sun Shu, who was sheltered by Longxi County and Chan Shui County. Yo Shu took Lai Shi's suggestion of reserving food in Xi'an District. The national financial was tightened. All kinds of luxuries were cut off in the Imperial Palace. Many servants were dismissed. Hail once! Long, Long may you reign! Hail twice! Long, Long may you reign! His Majesty has been the Emperor for almost ten years. Who knows until when this famine will last? The life we have here is not better than the days we spent with the Yin family. Don't tell me that you are missing home. No, I'm not missing home. I want to serve my lady. I can't keep you forever. Otherwise, Shing will blame me for being selfish. What are you talking about? What does he have to do with it? Do you think I don't know about you and Shing? You've been having feelings for each other for a while now. My lady... I know you're in love, and I'm happy for you. I will arrange your marriage when His Majesty comes back. Then you can leave the Imperial Palace and stay with Junling. You can get married in Xinye. Really? Do you actually mean that? No, I'm just kidding. I can't let you go. <laughs> Look, you're pouting. You just can't wait. My lady, stop teasing me. I'm leaving. <laughs>
Protect the princess. Yes. Trying to get us all killed? Mother, didn't you tell me to make a move? What I told you is to get rid of the Yin family only. Yin Shi is discreet. It's hard to get him. So, we have to kill his brothers during the riot. Then their forces in Xinye will be eliminated. But why attack the palace? But, Mother, shouldn't we eliminate the entire Yin family, considering His Majesty's affection to Yin Li Wa? Shantong won't get his favor even if the Yin family is gone. His Majesty valued our family when he was in Hebei. It was because he needed our support. Now his reign is stable. Yin Li Hua will lose support if we get rid of the Yin family. And then His Majesty will never make her the Empress. But you can't ever hurt Yin Li Hua and her children. Remember, this is the Han Dynasty. And he is the monarch. Mother, then what should we do? <sighs> Does the Empress know about this? 
I did it cautiously. They're divided into two groups. They carried out my order separately. Both got casualties, so His Majesty won't find any evidence. There are two things you need to do. First, make sure there's no clue and that they can trace this attack on the palace to you and me. Second, you must hide this from your sister. As long as Chang is the crown prince, we still have the chance to gain power. You are truly wise. I was so worried. Finally, you're awake. You've been unconscious for days. Jennifer. 